heart's coming from the Lord. You made heaven and earth. You will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord, the Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by night, by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. May the Lord have a blessing to the readers and hear and do it for his own glory. Lord, Heavenly Father, we know it was you, Lord, 
that's been so good to us, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, you've been better to us. We've been to ourselves. Heavenly Father, we come this morning, Lord. This, we want to look forward, Lord. We get a fresh start, Lord. And Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord. We thank you for another week that you had washed over us, Lord. You walked us up and down the dang highways, Lord. It wasn't just such that we were such good times, Lord. And that you are good, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we see many different things like we travel up and down the highway, Lord. And Heavenly Father, we just thank you for keeping us, Lord. That it won't be us, Lord. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord. We thank you for walking over us on our many different jobs, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we know it is you that's keeping us, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for the entire Mount Moriah Church family. We thank you for our, this community, Mount Moriah community, Heavenly Father. We ask you to continue to bless the Lord. Bless us in a mighty way, Lord. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for being God and, and God all by yourself, Lord. We thank you for our, our, our elders today, Heavenly Father. Wherever they may be, Heavenly Father. We thank you all the way down to our babies, Lord. We ask you to, to, to keep the arm around our babies, Lord. Heavenly Father, we have stated this morning, Lord, that there's a lot going on in this world, Lord. And Heavenly Father, it, 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 it's only you can bring us through, Lord. It's only you. So, Heavenly Father, we just want to continue to let our minds stay on you. Right. And, and stay the last week, Lord. When we get out to bed, Lord, we ought to be shouting. Right. Thank you, Lord, Thank you. for the many blessings you have restored upon us, Lord. Right. Well, Heavenly Father, we ask you to just look into the hospital today, Heavenly Father. Oh, Heavenly Father, that, and let them know that, uh, uh, that you are the just God, Heavenly Father. And Heavenly Father, we know there are some that are lying and racking in pain, Lord. But Heavenly Father, we ask you to take the pain away, Lord. We ask you to go to our nursing homes, Lord. Not just here around us, Lord, but all over the land and country, Lord. Heavenly Father, we ask you to look down on the leaders of this country, Lord. All of your whole universe, Lord. Heavenly Father, because we need you today, Lord. And we can't get along without you, Lord. Heavenly Father, we ask you to just to bless the one that may be on their way to the worship service this morning, Heavenly Father. We ask you to bless the one that just didn't have a desire to come today, Heavenly Father. And Heavenly Father, we bless the one that uh, had a desire, Lord, and, and other things come up, Lord. We just ask you to just to bless the Lord, wherever they may be, Lord. And Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, we just ask you to just to be in the midst of this service, Lord. Yes. And Heavenly Father, as long as we know you in the midst, Lord, we know that everything will just go on smoothly, Lord. Right. Heavenly Father, we just gonna uplift you, Lord, because you are worthy, Lord, right. to be magnified today, Heavenly Father. We glorify you, the Lord. Yes. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord, for all you have done. Yes. This is my prayer, your daughter, son, Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Amen. Every heart.
Heavenly Father, we come to you right now. Thank you once again, Lord, yeah. for being so good and so kind to us. Thank you. Lord, we just ask that your Holy Spirit continue to be in this place, Heavenly Father. Yes. As your spoken word goes forth, Heavenly Father, we ask you to just tenderize our hearts, Heavenly yes. Father. Yes. So that your word may just soak in, Heavenly mm -hmm. Father. So that we may get something out of your word, the Lord, that's going to help us, Heavenly yes. Father. Not only us, but help others, yes. the Lord, when we tell them of what you've done here today. Yes, Lord. These things we do ask in your son, Jesus Christ's name. Let us say amen. 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 God is good, ain't he? Yes. All the time. Amen. God is good all of the time, church. Yes, I tell you, yes, it's been a whole seven days since we've been here. And I say it like that because a whole lot has gone on. Just in seven days. Amen. Amen. A whole lot has transpired. Amen. But you know what? We made it. Yes. We made it. Ain't that right? We have a reason to praise God continuously. Amen. Because, you know, he didn't have to bring us here today. Amen. He could have took us out last Monday. If he wanted to. He could have took us out on our way back home from church last Sunday. If he wanted to. But the big question is, where would you have been residing if he had taken you out? Last week sometime. My I'm so glad he didn't take me out last week. Amen. 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 It already came up earlier today. We had to look at it ourselves first, right? right? And I'm glad that he gave me another chance. Amen. Amen. Somebody say a fresh start. Fresh start. Hey, Amen. He gave me a fresh start. Amen. And uh, it's so good seeing you all here today. Amen. 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 And I'm not going to be long today. I'm, I'm not going to be longer than God want me to be. Amen. 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 Yes, but I'll be here eight hours if I have to be. If you tell me to stay here eight hours, y'all can go home. I'll still be right here. Amen. <laughs> y'all know where to find me at. Amen. Because I, I find myself trying to be as obedient to God as I can be. Amen. Amen. And that's how we have to live here today. Amen. That's the best way to be. To try to do what God tell us to do and, and do it when he tell us to do it. Amen. Not when we get ready. Amen. 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 Timing is everything to God. Amen. Yes, it is. Amen. If you have your Bibles, and I hope you do, we're going to ask if you would go with us today to Isaiah the 40th chapter verse 29 through 31. Isaiah 40 29 through 31. I'm going to ask if you would stand at this time for the reading of God's word. It says from the King James Version, it says that he giveth power to the faint. And to them that have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Right. They shall run and not be weary. Yes. And they shall walk and not faint. Amen. We're going to talk to you for a little while today about victory. Amen. Victory. Amen. 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 Just that one word is so powerful. Yes. Victory. Amen. Yes. Yes. And the Lord, through this message today, amen, he's bringing encouragement and he's bringing hope. Amen. Because we're living in a day and time when a lot of that, it's kind of scarce to find encouragement today. God knows. Amen. Kind of, you know, depressing sometimes. Amen. When we can't find hope. You, have, you find a lot of hopeless people. Right. Talk to a lot of hopeless people. Amen. Amen. That's true. So God has given us his message. Amen. Not only for Mount Moriah, Mount Moriah, but for us to take it back out <clears throat> side of these four walls. Amen. Amen. Because wherever you go, the church goes with you. Amen. Is that right? Amen. We are the church. Amen. That's right, I, I can say this over and over again because I want everybody to get it because this is the building that we come in to worship, fellowship, to come together or once or twice a week, you know, to uh, iron sharp and line, to, you know, fellowship yeah. one another. Yeah. Amen. And when we go out of here, we ought to be 
feeling good about what God has said, so good that we go out and tell everybody else yeah. what he said. Amen. Yeah. I remember, hey man, I'm, I remember when I was uh, first saved, when I first became a child of God, my, you know, he had saved my soul. And I couldn't wait, I really could not wait till I got to school and tell everybody I had been saved. And I did just that, you know, it was in the summertime, amen. But they asked me, what you do this summer, what you do this summer? I couldn't wait till they got to me. I was like, I got saved. Everybody look. <laughs> But I was so I was so happy, amen. Yeah, right, amen. You know, so uh, you want to go out and tell the world good things, right? Amen. So we're gonna go out and tell the world what thus says the Lord this morning, amen. amen. You see, uh, because we all know that sometimes, amen, we get we become so worn out, so stressed out, mm -hmm. that we just not sure if we can take one more step. <laughs> Y'all ever been there before? Right. Not sure if you just can go on because of the stress level. You know, we, we, we uh, you know, things coming from, just hitting you from all sides. Amen. From the front and back. You know, you're getting this. Yeah. You're getting this call. Amen. You're getting the call from the school. Come down and check on your child. Amen. Get the, your child bust out a window or something. You know, just different stuff. Amen. Things breaking down. Appliances just seem like one after another. Amen. Amen. All of that stuff can cause stress. Yes, Amen. That, that can wear you out. Right. Not on top of you just did 12, 12, 13, 14 hours on the job. All right. Then, you know, you know, you got bills to pay. Amen. Then you're making more bills. Yeah. Because you gotta get new stuff. Amen. Right. <laughs> Amen. Then the insurance, amen, is so high. Yeah, don't forget about the insurance, right? <laughs> yeah. Amen. Mm. Things just Thanks. pile on top of each other. That's why people need encouragement today to go on. Amen. That's why people become hopeless because they they amen. they they lose touch. We lose touch sometimes, mm -hmm. amen. Especially when we don't come in here and fill these seats up right here. Because this is where we should gather, amen, and shopping each other up. This, right. amen. this is where we get food for the week, amen, food for the month, food for the year. Yes. Amen. This is where we become stronger at. Yes. Amen. Because we are better together. Yes. You understand? Because when we get out, the devil going to know you out there by yourself. Mm -hmm. They going to know that uh, Brother Jemai walking beside you right now. A digging Antoine ain't there to save you or say all something right, positive right. to you. Amen. Right. So the devil, he does what he do. Yes. Yes. He wanna see you out there by yourself. That's right. That's right. He wanna right. see you not coming in and fellowshipping. Amen. Right. It's not sitting side by side, not right. loving and hugging on each other. He wants to see that because when he got you by yourself, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. then he got you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. He did yes. Jesus like that. Yes. Yes. Jesus was by himself after 40 days. He didn't have his disciples around. Wasn't nobody around. After the, 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 yes. During the last time, he went out there by himself. Yes. My Lord. And as weak as Jesus was at that time, he was weak. Mm. Had been fasting 40 days and 40 nights. Yes. Could you imagine? We can't hardly go a day. Mm. I'm just being real. All right. 12 hours hard. Mm. Amen? Amen? Half a day. Mm. Here he is fasting 40 days. Don't you know he was weak? All right. Yes, sir. But he wasn't so weak that he didn't, he was had lost touch with God. Mm. You understand? Amen. He had enough fuel in him from the other days. Right. Mm. You know, some of us, are, uh, what they used to call, I ain't going to mess with CME, but they used to call this group of people CMEs. Amen. <laughs> Christmas, Mother Day, and Easter. Easter. That's all the only time people showed up to church. Christmas, Mother Day, and Easter. Amen. And it seems like we're getting back that way now. Amen. But it's time to fill this place up. It's not only this, I'm talking about, when I say this place, I'm talking about churches. Amen. That's rooted and grounded in the Word. Amen. We want victory, but we don't want to do the work that it takes to get Victory, amen. amen. We want everything right now, but we don't want to do the work to do it. Yes, somebody, come on now. 
There's some work involved, amen. You, you got to do something, but it's not much. My Lord. Just got to show up. Mm. Just got to do some things, amen. Just got to love some. Got to have love in your heart. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. But sometimes all of these things come up at us, man. I mean, they just be piling up. We feel like just giving up. Yeah. Checking out. Amen. All right. Just don't care no more. Feel like quitting. Oh, I quit. I ain't doing. I ain't going no more. I'm, I'm just quit. I ain't gonna even work no more. Mm -hmm. I think that's the problem here today, Amen. We can't find nobody to work for us no more. Well, Lord. Well, Lord. Not even a simple job, Amen. Yeah, right. People just hanging up on everything and everybody, Amen. Just, just forgetting it. Mm -hmm. Then sometimes we find ourselves spending, Amen, a, a, an abundance amount of time, Amen, running from. Crisis to crisis. Hmm. I'm talking about people who try to put out fire. Right. You know, we we trying to put out a fire over here. Trying to put out a fire over here. You know, over there, cousin got got some issue going on. That's right. Right. Mama got an issue going on over here. That's right. Brother got something going on over here. Right. Grandmama got some, and we getting worn out. Mm -hmm. Every time we, you know, we going down, down, down. Yeah. Sometimes we had to stay, stop. We had to be patient. We had to wait. Oh, yeah. Every time somebody called, it don't mean you got to run. Yeah. Yeah. You understand? Right. You got to think. That's right. Think first. Amen. Pray first. Yes, God. Ask God yes, what God. direction you need to go in yes, first. Yes, God don't want you broke down, toe down, and woe down. Amen. 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 God wants you to be healthy and happy. Mm -hmm. Amen? That's the truth. He don't want you to be worn out. A lot of times we just be worn out because we, we trying to do everything and trying to do too much. <laughs> Amen? Amen? Trying to do too much. Amen. Constantly giving our time and our energy, amen, to, to other you know, family members, friends. But what about your family right here? that live right next door to you, right inside the house with you. Sometimes they being neglected. This is the truth, church. It is true. This is the truth. Then we do all of these things. I'm telling you what drag people down. We do all of these things for other folks. Sometimes. And they don't even thank you for it. Mm -hmm. uh, they slap you in your face. They don't, they don't answer your call when you need them. Amen. Amen. That's the truth. Yes. Not, not to try to make you give up, but I'm trying to tell you what will zap your hope. Mm -hmm. What will zap you from being uh, encouraged. Mm -hmm. Keep you from being encouraged. Amen. Amen. But this is a me message that's going to lift you up. Amen. 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 going to tell you what you need to do. Amen. And the main key, amen, the, the Lord wants us to enjoy abundant life. All right. All right. The key is that we got to trust him. All right. We got to trust God. We're not trusting God as we should. Amen. 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 The reason I know that is because we're not praying to God. Mm. Amen. We're more like praying to ourselves. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? We're we, we taking matters into our own hands. That's praying to ourselves right there. All right. What we're doing, we're trying to Replace God with ourselves. Mm -hmm. That's really basically what it is. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. When we don't see him, who are we seeking? Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Who did you ask? Mm -hmm. Huh? Who did you ask? Mm -hmm. You might say you didn't, you didn't ask the devil. No, you didn't really just directly mm -hmm. ask the devil. Amen. Mm -hmm. But you ask yourself, should I do this? Should I do that? Mm -hmm. Huh? Am I talking to somebody? Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm talking to me, I know. Yes. I know. I'm talking to me. But the Lord wants us to trust him, amen? Yes. And not only trust him, he wants us to wait on him. All right. Wait on him. That's right. If he don't answer you right away, wait on him. Yes. Know what I tell you, if he tell me to stay right here, I'm just going to be right here. <laughs> amen. I, I'm, I'm now, that don't mean I hope he don't 
have me standing right here all day. Mm -hmm. I don't want him to have me standing here all day, but if he tell me to, I'm going to have to do it. Amen. Amen. Yeah, amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We got to trust God. Amen. Yeah. And what it, whatever it is that we need, amen, we got to know that God will supply. All right. Yes. All right. That's a promise. God will supply all of our needs. Amen. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Whether it's rest. Mm -hmm. We need some rest every now and then. Ain't that right? Don't we get tired? Mm -hmm. Food. Mm -hmm. Hey, God even got all the joy. Oh, yes. Ain't that right? Yes, yes. Peace. Amen. Finances. If you need finances, God got all of that. Yes. We need to remember what it says in Philippians 4.19. Right. Philippians 4.19. The King James Version, that man says, But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. Y'all see that? Yes. By Christ Jesus. Now this verse right here is one of the most practical verses, amen, that we will ever encounter in the Bible. One of the most practical, because, you know, because at times, we're going to need some stuff that's beyond our means. We ain't going to be able to get it. My God. Right. I, I encounter that almost every day. I don't have the way to get some things or get to some things. Right. Amen. Right. So God has to supply those needs. Mm -hmm. We have to lean and depend on him. Ain't that right? Mm -hmm. Every one of us going to need something one day. Uh, sometimes we're going to need something. Ain't that right? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's at these times that we should not become anxious. Mm -hmm. That's when we start messing up. Oh, yeah. when, we, when, when we let anxiety kick in, man, and, and panic kick in. Amen. That's when we become anxious and panic, and we're and we, we just going to do more harm than good to the situation is. Right. Because at that point, we're going to start taking out the matters in our own hands. It's at that point when we start listening to the devil, amen. It's at that point when we start signing stuff, amen, that we shouldn't sign. Getting stuff that we shouldn't get. Credit cards here, credit cards there, amen. Things coming in. Then that would cause bills to come in from all kind of places, amen. I'm just talking. That's the truth, baby. That's the truth. Did you really just need that? The scripture say God will supply all of your needs. I think a lot of people get that wrong, uh, 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 misinterpreted, amen, or, or wanted to say something else. We wanted to say something else. We want to say God will supply all of your wants. That's what we really want it. Because we want a whole lot. But you know what? We really don't need a whole lot. Think about it. He wants us to think, he wants to stop and wait for a minute. Mm, yeah. Now you talking about Amazon King. I may be one of them. <laughs> I don't go to Walmart no more. Mm. Only time I go to Walmart, I mean, uh, I don't go to Walmart no more. Who not go to Walmart? Not much, because I got my account on Amazon. It's so easy. Don't, don't let me find out. If this pair of pants fit me, I, don't, I used to like nothing, nothing mail order. I didn't like because I couldn't see it. I couldn't right, touch it. Right. I didn't. I wasn't sure if it was gonna fit. I don't. I don't I, I'm not the type of person. I don't like sitting stuff back here. That, it, it frustrates me. Yeah. But when I find out something I like and it's right, <laughs> I'm clicking on it every time. Click. It's just a click of a button. <laughs> Ain't that right? Somebody know what I'm talking about. <laughs> And the other day, I clicked a big item. <laughs> Click. And it came too. Big old truck came yeah. in there. I don't know how you get this thing in here. <laughs> but I'm just saying, how easy it is. Did I need that? No, I didn't need that. No. God will give you some things you want now. Don't get me wrong. We give some of our children some things we want. Sometimes we give them too much. We spoil them, amen. But we got to stop and think sometimes, do we really need that? And now they got, I ain't going to go too deep in it, but no deeper than God want me to go. But now, you ain't got to pay for it first. That's right. That's right. Zero interest. Mm -hmm. 
paying about four or five payments. It, it comes to the house. But think about it. Are you going to be able to pay those four or five payments? You know what I'm saying? We got to be patient. I, I said you can't be anxious. The devil, that's a tactic of a devil. That's a tool the devil uses on it. Amen. Being anxious. Man, I just got to have it. Just got to have it. It's, it's not going to be on sale next month. Don't, don't let them put that negative, uh, like a 40 or 50% on there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you finna rush and get something now. Mm -hmm. And then, then when, you, when you shopping something, <laughs> when you shopping something, it, it, and you might just start uh, shopping on something else, a message sometimes pop up, depending on what website you're on, and say, your item is going fast. Oh, yeah. Y'all ever get that? Yeah. Yeah. You better ask. Get on Nike.com or something like that. Amen. It'll tell you. I think they got shopping bag. They don't call it a cart. They call it a bag. <laughs> the, they say the, the, the item in your bag is going fast. What they saying, if you don't hurry up, they're going to snatch out of your, you ain't paid for you. They're going to snatch what you got in your cart, the bag out, and give it to somebody else. And they'll make you go and punch it. Okay, I better buy this. Amen. But do you need to buy this? Amen. Come on, Pastor. In other words, when we're anxious, when we are uh, panic, we do that, we start to make unwise, ungodly decisions. Amen. Without seeking out the counsel of the Lord. Amen. Then uh, it's at these times that we we give up, we give in, amen. We, we become defeated. We try to call it quits then, amen, when things start piling in, when those bills start piling in, or when those uh, uh, medical problems start coming in, amen? And the reason I'm, I'm bringing that up now, amen, because sometimes we, we eat things that we don't need. Amen. 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 We eat things that we don't need. I know that's a fact. And we eat when we don't need to eat. We just ate a few minutes ago, now we're eating again. Bring it home now to me. Love sweets. Don't let it be a good sweet. I eat it all. <laughs> My daughter, Hannah, she cooked a uh, peach dumpling. Oh, look out now. She told, you know, she out of town. And she cooked up in a little, uh, <laughs> Little personal size uh, loaf pans, little, a little aluminum pan. Yeah. I think it was about four or five of them. And uh, so that first day I ate that number one. I tried to eat half of it, it didn't work. I went back for the other half. Then the second day I ate another one. Then the third day I think I ate two. <laughs> <laughs> Hannah. I kind of called me from way around the world. She's in uh, Ecuador at the time. She said, save me one. I said, ah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I said, you just got to make some more when you get here. <laughs> Amen. 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 I didn't need all of that. Amen. But see, what happened is we started piling on it. You know, sin is, and food go oh, hand in hand. Oh, really? Oh, Amen. Oh, and oh, Hannah going to have a culinary thing going on pretty soon there, but it kind of, when you're eating too much, you start packing on. Right. Start packing on things that you don't need. Mm -hmm. Cholesterol. When you sin so much, you start packing on mm -hmm. weight. I'm talking about weight of the world now. Right. Amen. 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 And it's hard to get some of those things off of you. Yes. When you do it so much. That's you understand what I'm saying? Yes. You have to work much harder yes. to get it off of you. Yes. And you become, you start getting discouraged and you start uh, wanting to give up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. God is good. And he's good all of the time. Amen? We got to understand that it's at these times that God wants us to, to draw from his unlimited. God has unlimited. He has an unlimited storehouse. Amen? He got everything that we need. He got strength mm. to make it through. All right. He got joy that never runs out. Mm -hmm. He got all the peace in the world. Mm -hmm. 
We got to tap into it. And the way we tap into it is that we got to trust him. Amen. And by if we trust him, we will go to him for everything that we need. Amen? Amen. Now, do you believe that God can meet the needs of your health? Yeah, oh, yes. yeah he can meet the needs of your health. Amen? Amen. Meet the needs of your children? Yes. Amen. What about your parents? Mm, yes. right. Meet the needs of your finances, mm, your church. Yes. Mm, yes. Can meet all kind of needs because he's God and he's God over everything. He's the Lord over everything. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Amen. There's a scripture that talks about, and I think it's in this chapter where uh, we're at right now. But it, make a long story short, God is so big. He's so awesome that this, that this world that we live in is kind of like a speck of dust to him. That's how big he is. That's how awesome God is. Who holds the world in his hand. Yes. Amen? Mm -hmm. Hold the world in his hand. He got everything. That's our father I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Amen? Can we trust him? Yes. The scriptures tell us over and over again that we will never face a, a need, amen, that God's provision, amen, is not more than adequate. Yeah. Over in Psalm 116, Psalm 116, starting at the uh, sixth division there, it says that the Lord preserved the simple. Then it said, I was brought low. He was brought low. Mm -hmm. That means he wasn't feeling good. And what, what did God do? He helped, he helped me. He returned unto thy return unto thy rest, O my soul. He brought soul, he brought my soul back to rest. He brought me back at ease. He put my mind back where it needed to be. Amen. We have an unstable mind, amen, that's yeah. kind of wandering and waving. Amen. Go to God. Amen. Trust God with it. And he'll bring it back. He'll bring rest back to your soul. Then it says, For the Lord hath dealt bountifully, bountifully with thee. Then go over to Hebrews. Write these down for me. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. Mm -hmm. It reminds us, amen, to go before the Lord with our troubles or our needs. Mm -hmm. Because it says there, say, let us therefore come boldly, you see that? Mm -hmm. Unto the throne of grace, that we may, what? Obtain mercy yes. and find grace to help in a time of what? Need. Need. Mm -hmm. My God. This ain't go boldly. That means that mean we, we can go to God because we are God's children. We don't have to be scared to ask God. He wants us. Matter of fact, God, God finds glory when we ask him for something. Oh, right. You want to glorify God? Ask him for something in faith. Ask him for something in truth. Amen? In trust. You glorify that God feel happy. He feel proud when we come and ask him for something. Go to Matthew chapter 6, verse 8. New Living Translation this time. And it says, don't be like them, for your father knows exactly what you need even before you ask him. God already knows what we need. Amen? He just wants us to ask him. Amen? We need to believe that God stands ready. God is always ready. God is always prepared, amen, to meet our every need. Yes. We need to know that. Every resource that God has, and he has all of them, church, yes, is available to any child of his. Amen. If you're a child of God, amen. then he got you. Amen. We need to know that. We need to remember that. When the devil try to come at us and tell us, no, you can't get this, you can't get this, you don't need, you know. But God will provide. God will provide. God has made a promise that he's going to take care of. And he's done just that. I see we're all here today. That means he's been supplying us of our needs. Ain't that right? 
Because if you didn't, we wouldn't be here. We'll, you know, we'll be starving. We'll be, we'll be weak. 2 Corinthians. A lot of scriptures, but we need to put these in our hearts. 2 Corinthians 1 and 20. New Living Translation says, For all God's promises have been fulfilled. Y'all see that? When God promises something, he's going to make sure that he, he follows through. For all God's promises have been fulfilled in Christ with a resounding yes. yes. Look at that. Ain't that something? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. That's what God says for our needs. Amen? amen? And through Christ, our amen, really, which is a yes, a sense to God for his glory. Mm -hmm. That's what I tell you. God's getting get glory when we're asking for something. Amen. He gets the glory when we ask him for something. Ain't that something? We get something, and he gets something. Ain't that something? God is smiling every time he gives you something. Because if you ask him the way you, way you ask him, he's going to know you're going to appreciate it. He knows you're going to thank him for it. Ain't that right? He knows that you're going to go out and tell somebody what God did. For me, for well, my God did. Yes. He know that you're not gonna be ashamed of Him, Amen. Yes. God keep every promise that He made, and that's why we gotta walk with the intimate relationship, a fellowship with Christ, Amen. Amen. And when we do that, we have the assurance that every promise that God has made in Scripture would be available to all of us. Y'all understand? Yes, sir. God promised us victory yes. over all situations, yes. over all aspects of life. We, he promises us victory. Amen. Yes. Now, Satan, he's going to try to keep that promise from us. Oh, yeah. He don't want you to know that. Amen. Yes. This is why we have to search the scriptures all the time. This is why we need to keep this, uh, and uh, Pastor Wilson talked about this morning, we need to keep some form of this Bible, this written word, amen, with us at all times. Over in John chapter 16 and 33, Jesus says, I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows. So you're going to have some things come up. But he says, take heart because I have overcome the world. Amen. Yes. We have somebody in Jesus Christ. Yes, we do. Amen. First John chapter 5, 4 through 5. First John chapter 5, verses 4 through 5 says, For every child of God defeat this evil world. I'm going to say it up again. For every child of God defeats this evil world. Yeah. Don't let the world drag you down because we will defeat it. You see that? Yeah. Come on. Okay. And we achieve this victory through what? Our, our faith. Mm -hmm. We achieve this victory through our faith. Mm -hmm. That's why you know how we increase our faith? Mm -hmm. By hearing the word of God. Right. Right. Amen. And, and you can see, amen, not only here at Mount Moriah, but a lot of other churches, the crowds have dwindled. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the pews are a lot of space in between amen. people, amen. 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 And that's why the world is in the shape it's in right now. All right. Less faith, no faith. You know what I'm saying? But he, had, he told us right here, he said, for every child of God that feasts this evil world, and we achieve this victory through our faith. Yes. Amen? Yes. Look at verse 5. And who can win this battle against the world? Mm -hmm. Only those who believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Right. We can yes. win. Amen? Yes, sir. 
to say who can win this battle against the world. We can win this battle against the world. Amen? Amen. Paul claimed that he had tested each and every one of these promises for, you know, in his own life and found them all to be true. Ephesians 3 and 8 says, this is what Paul says. He says, though I'm the least deserving of all God's people, he graciously gave me the privilege of telling the Gentiles about the endless treasures available to them in Christ. Paul had found a wealth of God's promises, amen, and, and enjoyed every last one of them. He did. Amen. Yes, he did. How else could he have been singing hymns while he was in prison? Right. Mm. You understand? Mm. That means that, that because he found some peace. Yes. Yes. When, you, when you find the peace and, 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 and the joy that I'm talking about, right. when you're going through, you still have it. All right. When you're going through situations, you still have that yes. same joy and peace. Yes. Some people got, they got ask you, why, why come you smiling? You just totaled out your car. Your house just burned down. You just lost a loved one. How, how are you making it? Because I have the peace of God in me. God gave me this joy, and the world can't take it away. Amen? That's what we have to say, amen? Because that's what it is. When God gives it to you, can't nobody take it away from you. The world will not defeat you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's what he taught. That's, what, that's why Paul could, Paul wasn't living, he was going through a whole lot of stuff. Yeah, he was in prison, but he still sang hymns. He still gave God all the glory. He still told everybody in prison, whoever, whoever he met, who was his God. Amen. Amen. He gave testimonies. He didn't stop. We can't stop. We have to keep going. Yes. And we will keep going. Because we have God, we got Jesus in our heart. Amen? Amen. So we should be, don't become discouraged. All right. Or don't become impatient. Amen. But we got to walk close with God. Right. We got to walk close with God. Amen? Amen. And in time, we're going to see that his promises, they're going to come to fruition in our life. Amen. Amen. Sometimes Amen. things we be want things to happen just like we live in that microwave world, what I call it. We want it. We want it right now. Yeah. But take the time. Start walking a little bit with God. Amen. In other words, start asking Him before we start diving into some things. Amen. Amen. Waiting, on, waiting on Him for His answers. Don't get your answers from the world. But get it from him. All right? All right? Now this takes us back to our passage, amen, of Isaiah 40 and 31. Back to our original. And our waiting on the Lord, amen, it requires us to, to cease our own pursuits. I mean, to stop whatever we were doing, amen, and waiting on him, amen? And give God our complete attention. Waiting on him. Sometimes we got to give up some activities. Mm -hmm. right. Come on, Pastor. Some things that we may like, amen, mm -hmm. but have taken up all of our time mm -hmm. My God. so we can spend more time with him. Amen. You understand? Yes, we got to think about it now. I know we have to work. We have to, you know, and, and work take out a lot of time. Yes. And sometimes some of us have to drive a distance to work. Mm -hmm. That's included. So you working an eight hour job, you may, you may be spending 10 hours a day on that job. But it's something, somewhere you can find some time for God. Amen. Every day. Amen. You can find some time for it. It may be a little bit of time sometimes, but find some time for it. You understand? Start little, start somewhere. <laughs> But whatever time you spend with him, make, make it real time. Yes, yes. In, other, in other words, be true to him. He know your heart. Yes, he, does. he already know. You ain't got to go tell everybody your business. Amen. God already know it. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Spend some time with him. Valuable time. And, the, and they're going to make God smile. If it's one minute, two minutes, that means he got your undivided attention. 
an hour or two hours, he really going to be happy talking to you. Amen? Amen. And you're going to be happy listening to him too because he's going to tell you what the right thing to do. Amen. We got to go before God. Amen? We just got to do that. And we ask him, amen, God going to show us all the resources that he has. And he's going to give us all victory over all our situations. We got to know that, amen? Now, Jesus, he offered to guide us, amen. He, he guided us so that we can fulfill God's uh, will. And then we're going to gain strength if we just keep walking with him day by day. Little by little, we'll gain strength every day. Yes, sir. Over in Matthew, mm -hmm. chapter 11, mm -hmm. in my closing, verse 28 and 30, it says that, and Jesus said this. He says, come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens. All right. And I will what? Give, Give you rest. rest. That's a promise. Mm -hmm. That was a promise, amen. Then he say, take my yoke upon you and let me teach you. All right. Let me teach you because I am humble and gentle at heart. And you will find rest for your soul. For my yoke is easy to bear and the burden I give you is light. We got to trust Jesus. Yes. We got to give all of it up to Jesus. Yes. Whatever it is, let him handle it. Amen. Yes. And he's going to work it out. And I trust him, amen, because he's the son of God. He can't, he, 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 he's not going to lie. Matter of fact, he loved us so much that he went to the cross for us. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yeah, hung there for, from the sixth to the ninth hour. For old Otwell Jr. Hung there. For all of my sins. Just, just my sins, amen. Really for the world. Yeah. Everybody sins. Amen. Yes. He hung up for everybody so that we can trust him. And what I like about it, God told him, amen, that he's going to come and raise him from the dead after three days. And just like God said, God made a promise. He did. After three days, he came back and got him. Amen. And he raised up with all power. That's why we can find victory in him because he he, the grave can hold him. Amen. Amen. The world can keep him. Amen. That, that's right. From his blessings. Amen. God is awesome, church. Amen. Put that in our spirit today. Go tell the world how awesome God is. Mm -hmm. Go tell the world that I have victory. Yes. Yes. Go tell the world that I am. I represent victory. Yes. Because yes. I represent Jesus Christ. Yes. Who hung, bled, and died on that cross mm -hmm. for my sins. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. God is good and he's good all the time. The door of the church is open. Victory is yours. Victory is mine. Amen. We can have victory through Christ. We just got to believe it. We got to have faith in him. And he will lead us out of any situation. We're going to come out on top. Be encouraged by his words, by, his, by the scripture. Amen. Trust in the Lord Amen. with all your heart. Yes. And lean not unto your own understanding. Yes. Be patient and wait on the Lord. Be patient and wait on the Lord.